Call the roll. Hudsky? Here. Bastion? Here. Nauer? Here. Tiding? Here. Burton? Here. Nursinger? Here. Sangster? Here. O'Connor? Here. Weishar? Here. Great. Here. All right. Good to know that you're here. All of us. Yeah. It's been a while since we yes. had a full table, kids. Yeah. Yeah, welcome, everybody. Great job. So we have minutes from uh, February 27th meeting. Hopefully everyone's had a chance to review them. And uh, maybe we can entertain a motion to approve. Make the motion to approve it. Did I hear a second over First. there? First. Chief. It's on the chief. Do we have a second? Oh, sorry. All right. <laughs> Too bad. That's no, no, no. Aye. Ashton? Aye. Burton? Aye. Sauer? Aye. Tiding? Aye. Okay. That is approved. Uh, Zach, you want to go through the items that we have on our docket? I'd love to. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Great. Uh, table application. There is no action required tonight. Staff is looking at the revised plans they just submitted us for that item. Uh, so we'll get back to you potentially in two weeks with uh, some direction and feedback for you to review as we go into that. Hopefully to try and wrap that project up at 1549 Empire Boulevard. Moving on to action items. We have one this evening for the previously approved project known as Kitopia 1280 Creek Street. It's for the private daycare <coughs> facility. Uh, we've come back with a uh, modified uh, building design <coughs> proposal, which you have as a handout before you. Uh, the applicant is also here in attendance tonight for any questions from the board. Um, we did review the site plan. There were minor changes on that, but it did not change any of the area variances that they were granted. So the site plan remains uh, you know, within the same parameters of what we have pre previously approved. <coughs> uh, really what's before you tonight is looking at the building um, and its designs. So. On your handouts, page two is what you originally approved in 2017. Uh, it's on the screen on the left side here. Uh, both have call outs of all the building materials. Um, something, I guess, one thing that you would note on the approved versus proposed, and it's a little challenging to see here, um, but there were some bump outs on the building uh, that offered a little change in the facade. Um, those have been scaled back on the proposed drawing. Uh, scaled back to zero? Yeah, back. Uh, flattened down. Um, Is it basically, basically squares off the building to, to what they had previously. Um, <laughs> and I don't want to miss anything in my description of what's being proposed, and there's a professional here, so if you guys want to give them five minutes to go over it maybe, I think that would be appropriate. Four, three, Four. seven. <laughs> we do five. Gentlemen. Do you wanna, you wanna let us know what the yeah, no problem. proposed changes are? And So I'm Alan Rosignol. I'm the architect for Kitopia with Edge Architecture. So over two years, prices have escalated in construction significantly and as such to maintain the owner's budget, the uh, contractor has come back and proposed some value engineering uh, changes to the building to save money. And um, Zach has the floor plan or the outline of the building of what it was to what it was. And the, and the big one was to eliminate those bump outs and really flatten up the building, which saves a lot of money in construction foundations and corners and trims and all that stuff. So it's really um, value architecture. Mm, <laughs> You're talking to an architect. It's, uh, it's not value engineering, value architecture in your Thank you. <laughs> Design. Design. Keyword. So uh, that's the big change in terms of the footprint. Uh, and then the bigger change is the change in materials that are being used to skin the building. Overall, the massing is, is still extremely similar. Um, the number of classrooms is the same. The heights are the same. Uh, 
the rendering just looks a little bit different because it was taken at a different view and mm -hmm. rendered with a different technology. But um, so the bump outs are gone. Those covers on the perimeter there, the little canopies, those have been removed. The fence has been changed from a what was going to be a um, a little more ornamental fence to a standard um, slat wood pressure treated fence that'll be stained. Uh, the siding will still be a lap siding and we worked really hard to select within the color ranges of what the manufacturers offer that would complement what the original look and feel of the building was. And I have those two colors here. Uh, if you want to take a look at them, you can pass them around if you'd like. What colors are these two? So the gray, the gray is what you see on the front corner of the building, and that was originally approved as a, um, it was a ribbed metal siding. Uh, so this will be what's called a board and batten. So it's a little more, in the architecture, what we call it like the farmhouse style. Um, so this is a good picture of what it is. This is the actual product, but not the color. Um, it's, vinyl. And it's vinyl. This is the actual product, which is hard to see, I think, as the sample, so I wish I could have brought you a bigger one, but <laughs> the picture is a good example of how it goes on the building, uh, and that'll be this charcoal color. Um, so that was the original tent. The, rib the ribbed metal originally gave it some texture and um, life to that corner uh, that I think we're able to maintain with this product. And then you're all familiar with vinyl lap siding, uh, but we would pick the warm uh, wood tone color uh, that originally was going to be a fiber cement siding um, and a wood tone. So we tried to keep that warm brown range in the lap siding on the rest of the building. We'll still have uh, trim accents around the windows. Those are staying in uh, and we'll be we'll try to get them done in real wood stained. Uh, so there'll be some elements of, of natural with with the uh, integrated within and around the, the building. This is just a sample of the wood siding or the wood fence <laughs> color stain that the owner has chosen, which is a chestnut color. Um, so not just a clear coat on pressure treated, it'll be stained a color so that also uh, keeps it warm in terms of the overall uh, color scheme of the building. What was the material on the Fence. Cedar. That was cedar. Okay. <clears throat> so this, this was cedar. Yeah. yeah. I think we had a combination of cedar and we had a combination of some steel fencing. All the steel fencing is now gone. It, it strikes me that the renderings that were provided, or the new rendering that was provided, was maybe strategically yeah, well, uh, uh, determined to to kind of make it look as good as possible <coughs> uh, can, compared to the old one or the first approved um, plan because the, the the new certainly isn't is, intentional is, or meant to be any trickery involved with this. It's just a matter of not what the cat, that, but <laughs> Jackie put it in we as. Have we have colored. Colored or not, not colored, right? Correct. Uncolored. Yeah. This is what's it called. What does it look like? So the front of the building and your representations on the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Yep. <coughs> hmm. All right, so it's not as, I was expecting a much larger mass of clappered sided vinyl than I guess what I've seen there. Yeah, it's still, we still were able to maintain the nice punched openings in the side of the building uh, to break it up and and keep those proportions. That was, <coughs> yep. Oops. Were we were able to address any of the issues that Chris Lopez brought up. 
they that was a memo that we've just provided for the board to get ahead of it. That was not provided to the applicant yet. We did have our architectural consultant take a look at it in advance of this meeting. Um, you know, some general comments that we would provide to you, <coughs> depending on the outcome of this meeting. I want to give you a chance here with the board based on the proposals. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Anybody want to jump in? Jim? Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm, <coughs> I'm disappointed that they're taking all the other composite textual materials and replacing them with vinyl. And this board has, in the past year and a half or two years, um, been cautioning other applicants about minimizing the amount of vinyl mm -hmm. siding. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I appreciate the fact that uh, you know, metal siding is expensive and hardy plank is expensive, relatively speaking, but I would prefer to see <coughs> If they want to <coughs> instill some some vinyl, make that a part of some uh, uh, conglomeration of uh, other <coughs> composite materials. Um, I just I, I hate to I hate to go back as a community to vinyl, vinyl, vinyl because it's right. cheap for the developer, and then we're stuck with vinyl that's going to look worn and shabby and down the road and. Agreed. <clears throat> I mean, this Sorry. is a combination of uh, with the foundation design changing this much. Add to that the yeah. I mean, the, the, the loss of the shadow lanes <coughs> and the jags. It's a um, big time double whammy. And the canopies um, uh -huh. you know, definitely detracts from the uh, the curb appeal of the building, but. <coughs> At the end of the day, um, I, I think we have uh, perhaps less uh, of an obligation to tell them what they can do with those kinds of elements and more of one for the general facade that the community is going to see for the foreseeable future. Mm -hmm. So I would... I would like to see uh, a memo to go back to the applicant asking them to reconsider um, the use of materials um, in a revised uh, submittal to the board. That would be my position. I tend to agree with that. Yeah, I would agree with that. I'd second that. Yeah, the loss of the bump outs and the canopies really changes the, um, the look. No question. Oh, yeah. It looks more industrial without those. Oh, yeah. Kind of looks more like the buildings that we saw the elevations on Panorama Terrain. Yeah. To which we had similar comments. We did. Yeah. It would also just point out one other thing that there are different levels of quality of vinyl siding and the cheaper you go the more warp, warp it looks as it hits the sun and the what they are the contractor did propose and that is was being specified as a higher grade vinyl um, so you know it is what it is I, I, I understand what you're saying with vinyls vinyl but also know that um, there are different grades Duly noted. I wondered too for the for the fence going with a pressure treat how over time that's going to degrade. I don't have a problem with that, Bob. It, it, okay. You know, <clears throat> I mean, c c cedar's a, a naturally you know right. rot resistant material, um, but the, the longevity of, of good pressure treated fencing mm -hmm. material and, and cedar are probably not that far apart and you know if they're going to use a cedar natural tone on the pressure treated material and they wait until it you know um, dries out 
drives out. Ages a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I mean, I, I think these folks are great community partners. I think they'll, they'll renew finishes and, and things like that um, where they can, regardless of the, the material. I'm, I'm not really concerned with that. So, so <coughs> the changes have to do with the facade of the building, nothing interior? No. I think as you said, the classroom, the classroom sizes stay the same. It's just that extra space that will stay in the building, the yep, non-functional space. Yeah, we pulled it out of those areas where we could, and little things like I think uh, there was a vestibule in the rear that got was able to be removed. So overall, Stuff the like square footage of the building goes down slightly yes. because of the bump outs. We go from 10.5 down to 9.390. <coughs> 1200. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm I'm looking at some sort of uh, compromise between the two along the lines of what you were saying. What about um, the comments from the architect? You haven't had a chance to respond to them. No. Could I hear them? I have no, no idea I what they are. I think in fairness. Yeah. Well, hey, why don't we let them review them? Yeah. To distribute those along yep. with some written guidance mm -hmm. on what we're talking about here and give them an opportunity to respond so that we're not being asked to um, right. accept or reject something right here tonight that we haven't had a chance to I process. Completely agree. I completely agree with that. Okay. So we can send a letter back uh, requesting the a revised layout, a uh, revised design of the materials, along with the revised our, planning plan, if you will, or facade. Yep, mm -hmm. and then we'll provide the uh, the memo from our architectural consultant as well. That came in earlier this week, so um, we will get that to to them, so they have a chance to review that and incorporate any comments. Uh, per, based on my review of the, the memo, I think it's very similar to what the board's asked for. Um, so I don't think. We'll find anything, any, any showstoppers. Um, so I, I know the contractor is in the middle of rebidding the project now. Um, if it were to make sense and we were to, would you like to see it? It sounds like you'd like to see it fiber cement where the lap siding is proposed. And on the upper portion where we have the gray, would that be acceptable as board and batten in the vinyl? We don't, we don't generally give that kind of level of guidance to the, we kind of leave that up to you. Okay. Well, because the material, the look of the building, which has been approved by the owner, um, you know, if, if I could get them to find a number that would work from a construction standpoint, you know, I think that might be a possible. I'll throw two renderings up again, Doug. I, I think in all, in all fairness to what we're trying to accomplish here, you need to wait until you get the written comments from, from, Chris. from the planning department. And yeah, th this has been, <coughs> when did we approve this, two years ago? September like of yeah. 2017. Um, you know, I get the fact that there's uh, maybe some pressure to make a decision, but after two years of approval, You know, I, I don't want to be put on the spot with, <coughs> hey, take it or leave it. Because if it's take it or leave it, I'm, go go with the original. Yeah, I'm not asking for that. I'm <laughs> just asking for an opinion. I don't think I was pushing that. Okay. So I apologize if, if you feel that way. I'd like to give you guys the opportunity to take a look at the Chris Lopez's comments. Mm -hmm. um, we'll issue a memo uh, outlining the board's thoughts, and then um, we can review it and 
come back with Sounds good. some other options, possibly. Is everybody good with that? Yes. Okay, so I'll communicate all that stuff back to you, Alan. Um, and the next meeting is on the 26th of this month. Um, two Thursdays from now. Okay. If you're able to re uh, we'll get that stuff to you tomorrow. And if you're able to resubmit uh, by next Friday, that would be great. We can get that to the board in advance of the meeting. And then uh, we'll reconvene and talk about it again during the work session. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for coming in. Somebody want to move to uh, issue the memo? I'll move to issue the memo. Letter. Okay. Bastion and Burton. I got a slow shoulder or something. Will you second? I'll second. Aye. Bastion. Aye. 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 Okay, we All do. Right. I have one new business item to quickly go over with you. It's a resub map uh, on Harris Road. We're talking about a lot line shift that you will see here eventually. We we have flat, oh, we didn't have flat maps in the files, did we? Oh, it is in there? Planning board meeting files? Yeah. Okay. It's on your way. It is. Action. Oh, it's in there. Come on, you don't need to get like in here. Oh, yikes. You can get out of here. I wonder if I got moved into a folder. I don't know. It just didn't make it onto the Google Drive. Oh, you were in Google Drive? I was in Google ah. Drive. That was the easiest uh, jump. Okay. Point. Sorry. So, no? you're fine. Uh, this is outlined very oddly, but we have parcels today that are. Can you zoom in just a little more, Doug? It's very faint. Um, Wow, still terrible. Anyways, uh, we have two lots today, A and B. This very faint dashed line is the existing parcel, and it's to be conveyed to, uh, it's the existing piece of lot A to be conveyed to lot B. Uh, just a lot line shift. Doesn't violate anything that was built up here or that exists down here. Both have sufficient acreage for what's on their properties. Does the board have any questions or concerns? No variances or anything like that? <clears throat> Not a thing. Not an issue. Anybody have an issue? No. No. Or, oh, moved by Bastion. Second, Second by Canal. Hatsky. Aye. Bastion. Right. Burton. Aye. Bauer. Aye. 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 Okay. Anything else? That is all we have, gentlemen. We are done, and we'll have a work session in two weeks. Probably talking about the same things. Okay. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. If I was to preview the agenda, I'd say it's about the same. Yes, all right. With that, we will adjourn. Thanks, everybody, for coming.